Welcome. In this video, I want to talk about the Synology Surveillance Station client. When you install Surveillance Station, you get a web interface, which I'm, which I'm on right now, and you can click on things like Live View, and you can look at the cameras. You can click on Recording, and you can watch a video of the camera. That works fairly well, but you can also download this app called Surveillance Station Client, which I have here. So this works very similar. When I sign in, you'll see that you have pretty much the same interface. Uh, if we make this full screen and we switch between the two, you're not gonna see much difference. So why would you wanna use this? Well, there's a reason. I will log out here. And if we go into the little gear over here and click on GPU acceleration, we can click here on enable GPU decoder to offload work from CPU. So what this will do is it will when you open up a video, it will send that through the CPU's GPU instead of having the CPU process it by itself. So uh, it'll tell you what kind of graphics you have in here, the Intel Iris Graphics 6100. And according to Synology's documentation, uh, it's preferable to use your the GPU within your CPU. So if you have an external CPU, GPU, like on a card, it's, they said it's better to use the internal. So, and this works on Mac and PC. There's a version for both, works the same way. And they have a manual adjustment here where you can say how many channels you want. So Intelligent does, figures this out on its own. Manual, you can actually put in here the number. So if you want, say two on the GPU, you can do that. So if you're having trouble, you can use this and then you can change which resolutions to use it with and such. Down here, it says label the video streams that are using GPU decoding on the screen. So that's very nice, especially when you're getting started out, you can tell if it's actually working. So I'll close that and then I'll sign back in here. And if we go to this live view now, you'll see it says GPU up in the corner because this is being processed with the GPU as opposed to the CPU. So if we pull this out of the way and I'll shrink it down here, I can. I think that's all I can shrink it. Um, if we open up the recordings now, I'll open up, uh, this video is 30 seconds long. You'll see this also has GPU. And then we'll open this one here. This one says GPU. And we'll open this one here. Also says GPU. And one more. No GPU. So let's see, let's count this now. We have the two live views and three recordings. So it looks like with my current setup, with the GPU I'm using, I can open up five videos and use the GPU. That doesn't mean I'm limited to five, it means five are using the GPU. So if the CPU can handle opening up you know, three videos or four, and the, the GPU can handle five, that means you can open it up eight videos. You can open up more videos if you have the GPU enabled. So now that I've told you that this GPU thing is really cool and you can have all this um, you know, optimization, I actually do have a problem with this. So the, one of my cameras, it's an Amcrest, and it's a four megapixel camera, doesn't work. So when I have that one enabled and I open this up, this will show up blank and this one won't say GPU at all. So there's some kind of bug in there and I've sent a message to Synology, I don't know if they're gonna get back to me or not, but I haven't found any fix for it. So if you know of any fix for it, let me know. I'm guessing if you're watching this, you probably don't uh, have a fix for it. So you could end up having problems with this and if that's the case, you just need to turn GPU off. There's not much you can do really. So that's just a quick overview of the surveillance station client um, and why you might want to use that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you've liked this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.